Now, Way 31 Storm Tracker Meteorologist Amber Kulik with 31 Triple Doppler. Well, we know that it's raining outside right now, but every time it rains, I feel like there are more accidents. Yeah, there I think so too. Oh, don't mention it. Oh, okay, double bad, double duty bad. is a little rough this morning. <laughs> <laughs> my bad. But at least it is right. raining because we've needed the rain. Yeah, so I'm not complaining much. No, not at all. Let's go ahead and take a look at 31 Triple Doppler this morning because rain is falling, especially across the Huntsville metro area and in Madison County. So as you head out on those roadways, please be careful this morning. We'll zoom in to some of these areas that's seeing the heavier rainfall. We have a heavier bed stretching from just to the west of Hazel Green all the way through Huntsville, all the way down through new hope this morning. So if you are traveling in that area, take it a little slow on those roadways. We're starting to dry out though in the shoals this morning, but still grab that rain gear as you head out the door. We'll take a wider view across the southeast and you can see the rain now moving through the Tennessee Valley with some stronger storms to our south in portions of Mississippi and Louisiana. But that's not coming our way. We don't have to worry about the severe weather as we head through the next couple of hours. Now our way 31 Skycam Network is showing those raindrops on the lens of the cameras in Huntsville and Decatur this morning. And even in Gunnersville and Muscle Shoals looking very cloudy to start you out on this Friday. Current temperatures are in the 40s, so not only will the rain jacket keep you dry, it also keep you a little warm as you head out the door this morning. Over the next couple of hours here, rain chances will start to drop into the later morning hours and temperatures will start to go up. We'll end the day in those 60s for afternoon highs and in the shoals you'll be a little warmer than everyone else in those middle 60s for the rest of us lower 60s is where the day will end. So over the next couple of hours here rain will start to taper off as we head into the later morning hours a few showers possible during the midday hours and I can't rule out a sprinkle or two mainly in Sand Mountain as we head into the later afternoon hours today, but we'll all see a break during those early overnight hours tonight before more rain moves in early on your Saturday. If you're headed out to grab breakfast early in the morning, grab that rain gear once again. Rain sticks around through most of the day tomorrow, but when the latest model runs, it does look like we start to dry out during the later afternoon hour. So anything you have planned later in the day tomorrow isn't looking too bad. We have a couple of Christmas parades taking place tonight. Boaz, Coleman and Moulton. If you're headed out to these parades, grab the jacket because you're going to need it. Now here's the latest rainfall totals from one of our models, and it looks like the best rainfall totals will take place in portions of Sand Mountain. And if you're in the shoals, well, you're not going to see much in the way of rainfall as we head through the next couple of days. Your next 10 days looks like this. Rain chances will start to drop as we head into your Sunday. We stay in the 60s all the way through the middle part of next week. And by Wednesday and Thursday, we will start to see a little bit of a cool down, but still nice and comfortable for this time of year. Staying dry as we head into next weekend. So there you go. Perfect time to put up those Christmas decorations.